In this episode of Top Picks, we'll be looking at the most recommended shrimp for your aquarium. Up first is the banded coral shrimp, an eye-catching member of the Stenopodidae family, decorated with striking red and white bands across its prickly body. Also known as boxing shrimp, the banded coral shrimp wields long pinchers held erect, giving the appearance of a boxer, as well as extra long white antennae. This shrimp tends to be aggressive towards other banded coral shrimp, but have a peaceful reaction towards fish and have been praised by many hobbyists for its active scavenger-styled nature. The banded coral shrimp is native to all tropical seas and are often collected from Indonesia and the Caribbean and is one of the most distributed shrimps in the sea. It spends most of its time hanging upside down in caves or crevices, leaving only its antenna visible. It will also spend one to two days hiding in the rock of the reef while molting and will need sufficient room to move free without its large antenna touching nearby anemones or corals. Stenopus hispidus is quite hardy and has a length that rarely exceeds three inches, six including the antenna, making it well suited for an aquarium, though males tend to be smaller than their female counterparts. Attempts to breed banded coral shrimp tend to be unsuccessful, as the larvae generally succumb to filtration and skimming. The banded coral shrimp, like other invertebrates, is intolerant to high nitrate and copper levels and must be acclimated slowly to avoid salinity and pH shock. You will have to maintain proper iodine levels to ensure proper molting. It isn't picky and will accept most flaked and frozen foods. Next up is the sexy anemone shrimp, named for the way it sways its abdomen back and forth with an exotic flare. It is also colored uniquely with a red-brown body and brilliant white spots. This shrimp is native to the reefs of the Indo-Pacific and can be found on the tentacles of an anemone. But in the aquarium, you may find them perching on a coral frag or outcropping of live rock. This fearless and beautiful shrimp will scavenge the aquarium searching for meaty foods. They should be kept in small groups and fed a diet varying between flaked, frozen, and meaty food. The sexy shrimp is friendly with its tank mates and others of its own species. That said, it should not be housed with predatory fish that may attack these small critters. Speaking of their size, Thor amboinensis molt about once a month, but will only reach a maximum of around half of an inch. The sexy shrimp, while hardy, requires a slow acclimation process to avoid salinity and pH shock. They are also intolerant of high nitrate and copper levels. Sufficient iodine levels must be maintained to promote a proper molting rate. Perhaps the friendliest shrimp featured on this list, the Scarlet Skunk Cleaner Shrimp spends its time acting as a medic of their saltwater aquarium. They shack up on live rocks or coral outcroppings, waiting for fish to come by and get cleaned of dead tissue and ectoparasites. Fish even allow it inside of their mouths to clean it without harming the shrimp. The Scarlet Skunk Cleaner Shrimp is also known as the Red Skunk Cleaner Shrimp for the distinct pair of bright red stripes that outline the single white stripe running down its back. Some other names it is known by are the Indo-Pacific White Banded Cleaner Shrimp, Indo-Pacific White Striped Cleaner Shrimp, Skunk Cleaner Shrimp, and the Scarlet Cleaner Shrimp. In nature, the Scarlet Skunk Cleaner Shrimp can be found in groups living among coral or live rock. A similar habitat in the aquarium is required, surrounding them with peaceful tank mates. Avoid placing them with certain fish like the hawkfish and lionfish, or any sort of predatory shrimp and crabs as they may see them as food. The Scarlet Skunk Cleaner Shrimp will eat freeze-dried, frozen, and flake foods. As with other entries on this list, proper iodine supplementation is necessary to promote molting and growth. This shrimp is intolerant of copper-based medications, high nitrate levels, and fluctuating water parameters. It will also need to be drip acclimated prior to an introduction to the main system. The fourth shrimp on the list is the tiger snapping shrimp, also known as the tiger pistol shrimp, snapping shrimp, and symbiosis shrimp. This shrimp is tan with rust-colored broken stripes across its back. 
The tiger snapping shrimp is beneficial to have in an aquarium as it constantly moves gravel, making them great sand stirs as well as scavenging any uneaten food. It makes a loud sound by collapsing its pincher and bursting a cavitation bubble, hence the name pistol shrimp. Though it can be easily confused with the mantis shrimp, it does not pose a threat in the tank apart from very small shrimp. The tiger snapping shrimp earned another of its names, symbiosis shrimp, from its equally beneficial relationship with gobies. Gobies have much better vision and will warn the shrimp of predators. The shrimp will share its food with the goby and build and maintain the burrow they share. Snapping shrimp will eat any meaty freeze-dried and frozen foods, as well as bottom feeder tablets. Elphias bellaluce thrive in environments that contain sand, rock caves, and dim light. If paired, the tiger snapping shrimp will stand guard at the burrow while its companion stays inside. This shrimp is intolerant of copper and high nitrate levels, but requires a proper iodine level to promote molting. The final shrimp on our list is the blood red fire shrimp, otherwise known as the blood shrimp, fire shrimp, and scarlet cleaner shrimp. This shrimp is among the most popular ornamental shrimp with marine aquarium hobbyists. The blood red fire shrimp is decorated with a striking blood red coloration with brilliant white spots and long white antenna. Regional variations of this Indo-Pacific shrimp may have white dots only on its carapace or covering its whole body. Lismata debellius is most active at night and requires a habitat with caves and overhangs where light during the day isn't too intense. Often only its antenna will be visible. It will only tolerate its mate and will chase others of its kind away, though it is mostly peaceful unless its space has been intruded upon. Like the scarlet skunk cleaner shrimp, the blood red fire shrimp will set up cleaning stations to remove parasites and dead tissue from fish that present themselves. This shrimp will also scavenge for meaty bits along the substrate bottom. Diet includes freeze-dried, live, or frozen foods and flaked foods. This shrimp will not tolerate copper or high levels of nitrates and will require correct levels of iodine in the water for proper molting. And that caps off our list of our top picks for shrimp. If you enjoyed this video or found it informative, let us know and stay tuned for more content like this. If you want more information or you're ready to add one of these shrimps in your own aquarium, visit liveaquaria.com to get started.